Hello, hello. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the class in the notes. How's everybody doing today? Wait for everyone to get logged on and then we'll talk a little bit about what this class is going to be. Camera's all situated. So those of you who've logged on, give me a thumbs up if you're going to take. Hello, Miss Anna and Skylar. What's up? Hello. Oh, yay. Lots of thumbs up. That's good. We'll get started in a bit. Um, I don't want to repeat myself more than a few times um, just so everyone doesn't have to hear it. So give everyone a few minutes. I'll just introduce myself. My name is Taylor um, or Tay Tay Ballet on Instagram. I am a professional ballet dancer and power Pilates instructor. Um, if you were with me a few weeks ago, I taught uh, intermediate advanced mat class here on this account so you're joining me again welcome um, and I'm really excited to teach y'all this class it's mat with a TheraBand so you're gonna need a TheraBand um, and if you don't have a TheraBand go ahead and grab uh, tights or maybe like something just like a stretchy band of some sort um, and then if you don't have any of that don't worry because you can still take the class it's just an added prop um, to kind of advance your mat. So this is more of an intermediate advanced class. When we add the props, we do like to let you know that this is a more challenging class because beginner, you don't have the props, so it's you have more awareness of your body. This is adding another extra challenge, so you have to be aware of your body and your placement on top of the prop that's being added. So make sure you're aware of that. Um, biggest saying we say is when in doubt, leave it out. So if you're concerned or you feel some sort of weirdness, Get rid of the prop and just go back to your basics, okay? Um, and that's the best I can do with Instagram Live because I can't see y'all. So, But if you have any questions before we get started, go ahead and just write them and I'll answer them as quickly as we can and then we'll start. Make sure you have a soft surface and like I said, a TheraBand, a pair of tights works great. Because um, it's, it's not the same resistance, but it works. Or a stretchy band. Um, and then someone asked if they could use a towel. I wouldn't recommend using a towel because there's not much give on that, so that'll be pretty challenging. Hello. And then I'll go over a few uh, safety notes and cues. So that way when I'm flowing through the mat class, you can easily flow with me. Um, and yeah. Let's see what time it is. It is... Okay. 12.02. We'll give everyone like three more minutes. 
How's everyone doing on this beautiful day? I'm back in New Orleans. I just I just traveled for the weekend, so it's nice to be back home. All right. So just a little bit of safety tips before we get started. Um, the band, we want to rem I want to remind you that their band creates awareness, resistance, and support. So what that means is it's awareness of your body. So maybe something that you don't usually understand with posture or if you're laying down on the mat, you realize that your shoulders are always coming up. Well, that's going to create awareness because you have the TheraBand. And then support some of the exercises. It's going to help support some of the workouts. So whether it's with your hips, your shoulders, um, I really like that, especially for dancers. And then resistance, of course, it gives you that resistance as if you were on a reformer, which is also great because I do miss my machine, um, if you are familiar with Pilates. Um, and if you're newer to Pilates, don't worry. Just take it step by step. I'm going to flow you through it as best as I can. Um, and then just to remember that if you feel any tension, get rid of the band. We don't want to feel any sharp pains in the neck, no gripping. Um, and then usually the therapy is going to be folded in half. Um, and if it's not, I will let you know. But you always want to remember that it's a continuation of your fingertips. So you're never gripping. You always want to keep sure, make sure that the fingertips are long and you're opening the length of your collarbone. So this is the example of your collarbone. That's what you always want to remember, opening the chest wide. And that's the feeling you want to keep. And then closing your powerhouse, rib cage is closed. If you hear me say powerhouse, that's just engaging your abdominal muscles, upper, middle, and lower. Um, and then if you hear me say squeezing into your lower back, pressing into the floor, that's just remembering not to tuck to make sure you're really using those abdominals and the powerhouse to press into the floor. Very important. Pilates is a full abdominal workout. And especially with my certification, um, I'm certified in power Pilates, which is um, the only certification that has kept true to Joseph Pilates' methods for the last 20 years. So it's really, really good continuing Joseph Pilates' method. So I love that. Um, so we're really about flow and breath. So make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're flowing. We're going we're gonna to get the heart rate up a little bit and continue the exercises. So it's going to be a little quick. It's not about really stretching or meditating. It's really getting a nice workout in and a safe non-weight-bearing way, which is great, especially if you don't have the correct tools to stay in shape right now with ballet or non-ballet dancers. Um, again, great. So we're going to get started. If I um, ever say unfold your TheraBand, you know what that means. Um, your hands are going to usually be about the shoulder width apart, unless I say otherwise, which should be knuckles together, and I'll definitely say that. So let's get started grabbing your TheraBand or your tights or whatever you're going to use for class. Make sure the comments are in the way. Okay. Good. So starting laying down on your mat, remember you want to center yourself from top to bottom, side to side, okay? That's very important. We want to remember that all the time, okay? And just lowering yourself down. The band is folded right now. So I have my TheraBand completely folded, and I'm going to go into my hundreds. We're going to go straight into the workout. Bring your legs in a tabletop position, remembering that when your legs are at tabletop, they're not past your hips. Because when you do that, you lose the abdominal engagement in your abs. We want to bring the knees in line with the hips, pressing your lower back into the floor. Shoulder blades are down, no tension in the neck. Bring the TheraBand underneath your legs, and they're, it's nice and folded. Now, before we even begin our hundreds, I want you to lift your head, neck, and shoulders high up the mat, look into your belly button. Now, press your belly button even deeper into the floor, activating that powerhouse. Your fingertips are long. Your TheraBand is wide. Now, anchor that tailbone down. Don't lift it up and start pumping your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And this is a more intermediate advanced class. So if you would like to, extend your legs at a 45 degree angle. Remembering to not let lift your lower abdominals off the mat. The lower back is pressing into the floor. Nice vigorous pumps. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Can you lift your shoulder blades off the mat? And can you bring your chest even wider with that TheraBand? That's what's opening your collarbones up. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You can even lower your legs a little bit lower for more of a challenge. Completely up to you. Just remember to keep the lower back pressing into the floor. And make sure you're breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And bend your head down, rest it. We're going to go into a little bit of footwork series today. 
So keeping your theraband where it is, lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. If you're familiar with the reformer, this is what we would do in the reformer. Bring your legs in a frog position and a Pilates first. We're going to press the feet out, and as the abdominals pull in deeper, they resist it in. But anchor that tailbone down. Press the legs out like you're pushing against a wall or pushing off against the floor for jumps. And push it out and bring it in. Remember that therabands, the continuation of the collarbones, pressing the shoulders out. And in, two more, press it out. And in, last one, press it out. And in, now close the feet and make a perch position with the toes. We push it out, we bring it in. That basically means you can just demi the, the toes. Out, in, and push it out. Come even higher off your mat, look into your belly button deeper. And out, and in, last one, out, and in. Now full flex, flex it out, and bring it in. Good, push it out. And bring in and abdominals pulling deeper as so you send your abdominals out and then they pull in even deeper as they come in. Last one, out and in. Now push it out. We're gonna point and flex the feet. We point and flex. Pull the theraband out. Point and flex. Two more. Point and flex. Come higher from that. Point and flex. Hug your legs and just rest it down. Good guys. Bring the theraband up and over for rollover. Bring your legs nice and long onto the mat. Your feet are glued together. Your lower back is pressing into the floor. Shoulder blades are down. Naturally, already right here, even though I do this about three times a day, I naturally want to lift my shoulders off the, off the floor. So I really want you to plug them into the back. Bring your theraband above your head. We're not going to bring it far back just yet. Peel your chin to your chest. Melt your spine up bone by bone. And then peel yourself forward, keeping that seager, pressing the ribcage back, and melt it down. Bone by bone, lower, middle, and upper back. Come right back up, peeling the spine up, warming it up. And then melting it down. Shoulder blades down, the collarbones are open. For more of a challenge, bring the theraband by your ears, and keep it by your ears the whole time as you melt up. Or you can keep it above your head. It's completely up to you which one you want to do, just giving you some more intermediate and advanced cues. I'm going to keep mine by my ears, and I'm going to peel it up. It's a lot more challenging, keeping the powerhouse nice and engaged, seat curving the spine, shoulders are down. One more time. Here we go. Come right back up, pressing into the mat as you roll down. Now really break the spine in three for lower and middle and upper back. Relax it down. Good. Bring your legs back on over the theraband for rollover. Placing your, your hand, I'm oh, sorry, you're hovering your hands off the floor. The theraband is nice and pressed and open, proud chest. Bring your legs straight up to the ceiling. Okay, now, now that I want you to rest your hands down, keeping that engagement as if they were hovering off the floor. We're going to pike our hips up, lift them up to a parallel position. You're going to flex the feet and you're going to melt the spine down, roll it down. Flexing, you're going to circle the legs, close the legs, point them, come right back up, hips come up. We flex open, shoulder distance apart, melt the spine down. Remembering the legs don't open any wider than the shoulders. Point the feet, come right back up. Really opening up that chest, melting that spine down, even getting a nice hamstring stretch. Last one before we reverse, come right back up. Are those fingertips long in the theraband or are they gripping? We want to remember the length of the collarbone staying nice and open. Now reverse it, we keep it open, flex, shoulder distance apart, come right back up, close the feet, point, melt the spine down, are we breathing? Good, and open the legs, shoulder distance apart, flex, we close the feet, point, and melt your spine down, nice and slowly, two more, flex and open, one of my favorite ones to start, really feeling the spine melting into the mat, the hamstrings are getting a nice stretch, one more time, lower abdominals are activating because they're lifting you up to pipe the hips up, and then melt it down bone by bone, nice and slowly. Keep your legs where they are, or sorry, keep your hands where they are. Melt the leg, left leg down, flex it, and bring, keep the right leg where it is. And we're gonna circle the leg, in towards the body, down, around, and up. Really think about opening the collarbones with the hands on the mat. Towards the body, down, around, circle the leg. Your abdominals are drawing the leg, your hips are not moving, your lower back is pressing into the mat, and your abdominals are still fired up. Last one, let's reverse it. We go away from the body, keep your hips still, down, around, and up. And down around and two. And down around and three. Two more. Down around and four. Abdominals driving the leg. Down around and five. Flex the leg out. Bring the left leg right back up for the other side. We go in towards the body. Five. And stop at your center. And down around and four. Down around and three. Down around and two. Shoulders are pressing down. Down around. Last one. Reverse. Down around. Stop at your center. 
and down around and two and down around and three nice for our chest down around and four last one down around and five flex the foot drive it away from your body good let's bring the legs up and we bring the theraband right back up and over and then we're going to flex the feet hugging them together peeling yourself up for a roll up transitioning into your next exercise Remember that we'll do a transition for a roll-up because that is more intermediate, advanced level to transition. Come right back to the front of your edge of your mat. We're going to go rolling like a ball. This is one of the times where you keep your theraband still folded, but you walk your hands together so your palm or your knuckles are touching. Now we're going to balance on that rolling like a ball position. So shoulders are back and already finding that tease in your abdominals. We're going to lift the feet up. I want you to point them today because that makes it a lot more challenging when you come up. If you have big toes and big feet like me, it's a lot harder because that's the first thing that's going to want to touch. We look into our belly button, keeping our shoulders nice and wide of that theraband. Rock it back to the tips of your shoulder blades. Come right back up, finding your balance. Keep your toes pointed. Rock it back and rock it up. Find one, find a few more balances. Rock it back and rock it up. Good, two more. Let's flow it. Rock it back and rock it up. Massage the spine. Rock it back and rock it up. Good. Stay where you are. Find your balance. Keep the theraband in your hand. Just grab the left hand with your right wrist and then just make a tiger ball position. This makes it a little more challenging. Here we go. Rock it back and rock it up. Rock it back and rock it up. Two more. Rock it back and rock it up. Find your balance. Last one. Rock it back and rock it up. A little bit more of a challenge. Now walk your hands shoulder distance apart. Bring the theraband underneath the legs. Already still in that balance. Bring your right leg in, left leg long, lower down to the mat for your abdominal series. Here we go. And we inhale, switch, pull in deep. Inhale, switch, pull in deep. Exhale, switch, pull in deep. Exhale, switch. Are your collarbones open? Are you letting that theraband take over? No, you're not. You're nice and proud of the chest. They're pulling apart, the fingertips are long, and your abdominals are pulling the theraband in. You're pressing your lower back into the mat. Let's speed it up. Inhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale, switch, inhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale, switch. Keep your legs where they are and keep your hands where they are. We extend the legs out. We hug them right back in for double. Extend the legs out and hug them in. A few more. Extend the legs out. Fingertips are long. Theraband is wide. And extend it in. Good, two more, out, and pull it in, lower back pressing into the floor, a little more challenge, go two inches off the mat, come right back in, keep the therapy where they are, for scissors, be pull, pull, and switch, pull, pull, and switch, pull, pull, and switch, pull, pull, and switch, and two, and two, and one, and one, rest your hand down for two seconds, bring the therapy up above your legs, bring the hands just above the head, bring your head, neck, and shoulders right off the mat, now, if you want more of a challenge, bring them up by your ears and extend your legs long for lower lift. We lower down for a three, two, one. Come right back up. Press your lower back, back into the mat. Lower down for a three, two, one. Come right back up. Good. Keep it going. Down for a three, two, one. Come right back up. Last one. Down for a three, two, one. Come right back up. Crisscross. Let's finish it out. Bend the legs in. We're going to tilt to the right. Bring the right leg in. Now, come up even higher. Pull your abdominals deeper and find your center high position. Try not to lower down. Come up and over, twist to the left. Come even higher. Don't lower down. Come up and over to your center, twist to the right. Even deeper, even longer. Up and over, twist to the left. Always think about up and over for twist. Go to speed it up for five. Five, four, four, up and over. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Rest it down. Good, guys. Always think about up and over for your twist. It gets it out of the neck and really fires up your abdominals. Keep your theraband folded. Extend your legs nice and long for that transitional roll-up. For more of a challenge, bring the hands by the ears. And peel your spine up. Legs are together. Keep that C curve. And then come up, sit up nice and tall. For spine stretch, forward. Um, I did this one, I think, last week, but I do like this one, especially because this is more of a dance for account. So we're going to go ahead and do this for our hip flexors. Bring the theraband nice and low onto the back. And this is good for anyone who grips in their hip flexors. It just gives you a little bit of a release. I know I definitely do. Sitting up nice and tall, your legs are about a little wider than your mat. They're not too wide. Um, and then you're finding the sits bones really, really nice and tall. Now bring your theraband. Your palms are facing down. My fingertips are nice and long. My shoulders are rolled back. I want you to think about pushing that lower part of the theraband, your rib cage, into the band. So you're going to inhale to lift up. You exhale. C curve, dive it over like you're going on over a beach ball. And then push it right back up. 
and lift up, making sure the TheraBand is nice and low on your hips to release that hip flexor. And inhale to lift up, exhale, pushing it forward. C-curving the spine. Don't think about diving down. Think about C-curving over a big beach ball. Really pressing the rib cage to the back edge of your mat. Inhale to lift up. You exhale, dive it over. Abdominals are scooping in and up, engaging as you stretch. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, blow yourself right back up. Nice, proud chest, shoulders down. Two more times. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, C-curving the spine, diving it over. Inhale through the nose, exhale, push your body right back up. Last one. Inhale, lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale, pushing it forward. Energy shooting out through the balls of the feet. And come right back up, sit up nice and tall. Good. We're going to go into open leg rocket with a the theraband. I haven't done this one in a while, so this one's nice and fun. We're going to bring ourselves towards the front edge of the mat. You're going to place your right foot inside the theraband. Now place the left foot inside the theraband. Your legs are only going to straighten about shoulder distance apart. Now this can be really easy or this can be really challenging depending on how your body is. For me, I love it. I think it kind of helps me find that balance. And if you're in that open leg rocker position, shoulders are down, think about your elbows driving into your sides, and you're gonna rock it back to the tips of the shoulder blades, come right back up, find your balance, find that tease in the abdominals, let the theraband help you. Rock it back and rock it up. Find a nice proud chest, collarbones wide. Rock it back and rock it up. Don't go too far forward because then you'll definitely collapse. Rock it back and rock it up. Find your proud chest one more time. Rock it back and rock it up. Let's find that balance. Good. And just melt yourself down. We're going to go straight into corkscrew. Walk the feet in towards each other. So this is actually called TikTok. We're going to work some oblique muscles. Bring your elbows into your side. Your shoulders are rolling down and you're nice and lifted. Your abdominals are into the mat. Your tailbone is driving down. Now when I say tailbone, just a little bit of a reminder. That means I'm not here, if you can see. I'm not seeing my tailbone's off the ground. I'm anchoring it into the ground. Huge difference with your abdominal placement. Now you're gonna let your hips, or your legs, sorry, Fall to the right side. Your left hip will come off the mat just slightly, but think about your left rib cage staying onto the floor. Now, using your obliques, using the TheraBand to help you come right back to your center. This is TikTok. Lifting over to the left. Let your right hip come up, but your right rib cage stays down on the floor. Come right back using your obliques. Nice hamstring stretch as well. Lifting it up and over, letting your hips fall to the side. Come right back up with that TheraBand. Yes, let's go again. Lifting up and over, leaning it out. Rib cage stays down, come right back up. One more time each side. Lifting it to go to the side, nice long stretch, using your obliques, using your abdominals, powerhouse comes right back. Really lean it out this time. Last one, test your weight, test your balance, come right back up, use your abdominals. Good. Now fold the TheraBand, lift it out from your feet, bring your legs nice and long onto the mat. Bring your hands above your head, rolling up, peeling it up to that nice roll up position, stretching it forward. Good, going into soft, stay where you are. I'm gonna face you because I hit the wall. The TheraBand stays nice and folded. We're gonna do two types of soft positions. So you're sitting up nice and tall in those sits bones. If you are hyperextended, let's try and relax that hyperextension because I don't want it to go so much into the back of the knees. I really want you to find the tallest straight position you can. All right, we wanna make sure we're not getting into those back of the knees in an unsafe way, because I can do that too, but I want you to kind of not naturally keep it straight. So nice and tall, fold the, the TheraBand, shoulders are down, your hands are shoulder width apart. We're gonna twist to go up and over to the right. You're not gonna lean, you're just gonna go forward. Dive in the left, uh, the left pinky to the left pinky finger, and then come right back up, find your center. We twist to the left, contract, melt the spine forward, go past your toes. Now how's that opposite sits bone? We want to make sure that that stays on the mat. We twist up. Now keep the opposite sits bone on the mat. That's going to give you that equal stretch. Come right back up. Find your center. Twist to the left. Diving it forward. Remember to breathe. We come right back up. Let's add a little twist. So we inhale, lift to the right. We exhale, twist to the opposite direction. Come right back up. Find your center. Twist to the left. And then twist down. A little bit of an angle. Come right back up. Let's add a little bit of a pulse. And to the right, we pulse it one, and two, and three. Come right back up, find your center. Last one, twist left, pulse for one, and two, and three. 
Come right back up, find your center, and relax. Good. Roll those shoulders back. Even me, I have to remind myself that the TheraBand can sometimes take over right there. So we really want to make sure that's staying nice and long. If you're having any posture issues, working with the TheraBand on the mat is great because you're not having any weight bearing on your body. So you can really work on that upper body strength, which is great. All right, going into swan variation, flipping over to your stomachs. And we're going to bring the band underneath our armpits. So making sure it's nice and wrapped underneath. And I want you to make sure you have a lot of tension. The hands hold down the band. So my palms are facing down and I have a lot of tension on that upper back. This is great for shoulder, upper back strength. And I want you to think about lifting from your abdominals, not lifting from the back. Now your abdominals are scooping in and up so strongly that you can think of a little ant crawling underneath. My legs are glued together. I'm pressing all 10 toes into the mat, looking down at the floor. I'm gonna inhale through my nose, and as I exhale, I'm gonna push up against that theragam. My hands stay on the mat. My abdominals are still pushing in and up. I'm gonna lift my hands off the mat, find a nice hover over the abdominals, over the mat, and then lower everything right back down. Think head, hands, heart, three H's. Very important that we don't break the neck. Abdominals scoop in and up. That's what's gonna fire your lift up as you lift through the crown of the head. And then lift the hands off the mat, push down into the floor though still, thinking of that theraband pushing you down, and resist. Nice tension both ways. Inhale to lift up. Abdominals scoop your body up. You lift the hands off the mat, find your balance, and lower right back down. Not so much about the extension, mainly about the length. One more time. Inhale, lift up in the crown of the head. Lifting your body as high as it can go. Lift your hands off the mat. This time, keep your hands where they are. Lift your feet off the mat. And just hold. Abdominals pull in and up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax it down. Good. Go back into a quick active child's pose position. Remembering that as you stretch up and over, that your abdominals are not resting on your legs. You're still initiating that powerhouse. It's still working. And we're still flowing. Now we're going to come right back out because that's what I want to keep going. I want, to, I want you all to keep moving. Now folding your band in half, it's going to come right underneath your shoulders for single leg. Now remembering to keep your chest nice and wide. So looking down at the theraband, that's the example I want you to have of your chest. And you're not sinking into your shoulders. Your hips are pressing into the floor. And we're going to kick our bottom for one, two, and switch. One, two, and switch. You can flex the foot. Remembering not to sink into the shoulders. Keep a nice long head all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom. Kick, kick, and switch. Kick, kick, and switch. Last two. Last one. And resist it down for double. Bring that theraband nice and high on your back. Now, my hands are close together. They are not far apart, so there's a few exercises where that happens. This is one of them. Your abdominals are scooping in and up, and this time we're going to kick our bottoms for three, two, one. Press the pelvis into the floor, press the feet into the floor. Head, hands, heart comes off the mat. And switch cheeks, other side. We kick for three, two, one. Extend everything nice and long. Don't break the neck. Look down at the floor. And we switch. Kick for three, two, one. Extend everything nice and long. Roll the shoulders back onto the back. And switch for three, two, one. Everything extends out. Press the feet into the floor. One more time each side. Kick for three, two, one. Extend everything out. Roll the shoulders back. Proud chest. Last one. Kick for three, two, one. Extend everything up. Hover the feet off the floor. We're going to press the theraband out for ten. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax it down. Bring the TheraBand in front of you. Go back into a quick child's pose position, stretching it out. Good. Take a nice big deep breath. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Remembering blood needs oxygen to flow, so don't hold your breath. And come right back out, and let's flip over to our bottom. So usually for neck pull, I'll have you tie the TheraBand immediately around your legs because especially for dancers, so great to work um, the glutes and the turnout muscles and the, and the IT bands because we can't really jump as much. But today, I have been noticing from just people that I do teach through Zoom, so I can see them, the biggest problem that I see with neck pulls is elbows going forward. So I really want to try and avoid that. So today we're going to actually keep the theraband folded before we tie it around our legs. And you're going to sit up nice 
nice and tall. If you need a little more support in those legs, you can bend them slightly and drive the heels down into the mat. And that's just gonna help you as if you had that safety strap on your tower, which we don't have right now for neck pull. Bring your hands behind your head. It's at the base of the skull. You're kind of making a triangle position with the hands. And my hands are pretty close together with that therapy. This is gonna help you keep the, the elbows nice and wide. We're gonna break the, um, the neck pull down in threes today. So you're gonna inhale, you're gonna lift up. I want you to dive your head in between your legs, but keep the C curve of the spine. Come right back up, sit up nice and tall. Shoulders are driving down into your back. Inhale into the crown of the head. Exhale, diving it forward. Scoop your abdominals in and up. Come right back up, sit up nice and tall. Let's do that two more times before we add on. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, dive your head forward. Sit up nice and tall. Remember to keep that nice C curve of the spine. Your abdominals are scooping in and up. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, dive it forward. Let's continue on. So this time we're going to dive it forward. We're going to hinge it back. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, blow yourself up. You're going to hinge back at your waist. At the last moment, contract a little bit, but you're going to come right back up. We're not going to all go all the way down yet. Dive the head forward. Sit up nice and tall. Elbows wide. Hinge it back at the waist. Find the tremble in your abdominals. Tilt. Come right back up. And dive the head forward. Sit up nice and tall. Hinge it back at the waist. And then break it a little bit at the hips. Come right back up. Let's go for our full. We dive the head forward. Sit up nice and tall. Hinge it back at the waist. Contract. Roll down. Elbows touch. Come right back up. Keep your elbows wide. Dive the head forward. Should help you with that theraband. Pull against it. Collarbones are wide. And melt it down. Come right back up as those wing blades touch. Dive the head forward. Sit up nice and tall. Hinging it back at the waist. At the last moment, find the tremble in the abdominals. Last one, come right back up. Elbows wide. Sit up nice and tall. And then melt your spine down nice and slowly. And relax. Good. I always move in that one. Awesome, guys. So that really helps if you're having any neck pull issues. If you're taking with me with any other classes, go ahead and grab a therapy and put it, place it behind your head. Really does help. We're going to go into shoulder bridge. I do want to tie the TheraBand around the legs now. So sit up nice and tall and just go ahead and tie the TheraBand. Now remembering, if you haven't taken this, this is your first time, that you want to make sure you tie the TheraBand above the bony landmarks, which means you never want to tie on the knees or on the ankles, anywhere that's bony, because that can really hurt you. So I'm above my knees. I double wrapped mine. You do want a lot of tension. Um, that's part of the challenge. So definitely give it a lot of tension for your shoulder bridge series. And we'll use this for the next two exercises, keeping it here. Just contracting, melt your spine down. Good, just finding that comfortable placement. Bring your feet close towards your bottom. And if you need a little more room, you can walk them out. It's completely up to you, you know your body best. Placing your pelvis nice and low on the floor. Place your hands by your side. Good, now let's just massage the spine out a little bit. So let's contract the lower abdominals. The lower spine's gonna peel up, and so is the middle, and then the upper back. You should feel some pressure in the shoulders, but never in the neck. You start to feel in the neck, you've gone a little too far. And just melt the spine right back down. Remember, all 10 toes are flat on the mat, all heels are flat on the mat, and your knees are, are aiming forward to keep that placement. We want no tweaking in the knees. Come right back up. Peeling the spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae, bone by bone. Thinking of your spine as a wheel, come right back down, melting the spine down. Go do that two more times because it's a nice massage. Come right back up. You're massaging the spine, but you're also working your glutes. So it's a great workout because that theraband's resisting you. And come right back down. Let's do it one more time. We're going to add a variation on this next way up. So come right back up, peel the spine up, bone by bone. Find a nice, proud chest. Now all I want you to do is pulse the right leg out. So only moving the right leg, pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the right leg still, now just pulse the left side. Pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Find your even higher position, melt your spine down, roll it down. And we're gonna come right back up for both legs out. Melting the spine, come right back up into that nice high bridge position. Now let's pulse both legs out at the same time for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Find an even higher bridge position and melt the spine down, bone by bone, vertebrae by vertebrae, and relax, good. Let's go into some jackknife. So bring your legs in, straighten them up to the ceiling. Now you're gonna lower your legs to a 45 degree angle. And they're gonna come, you're gonna lift your hips up, 
to a parallel position behind you. Now bring your legs at a nice straight position towards the ceiling. Melt them back a little bit and peel your spine down bone by bone, working your shoulder strength, working your abdominal strength. Lower those legs to a 45 degree angle. Come right back parallel to the floor. Straight up to the ceiling, nice long spine. Melt those legs back a little bit and peel the bones down onto the mat like a wheel. Good, if you want more of a challenge, 45, go straight up to that straight position right away. Really teasing those abdominals, squeezing your glutes, lower back a little bit, melt the spine down. We have one more time, whichever you prefer. 45 degrees, go parallel or straight up. And then lower back a little bit and melt your spine down bone by bone, vertebrae by vertebrae, tendon by tendon. And, and, just, and then just grab your legs, stretch it. Good, and just give yourself a little rock from side to side. Good, take a nice big deep breath. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. I hope you're breathing throughout this entire exercise. It's very important we do so. Good, and just roll over to your side for your side series. So with the TheraBand, very important that we do this exercise as dancers. If you ever just want a quick exercise with the TheraBand, it is on my YouTube channel. Um, this literally just this setup. It's great to do before class. It really fires up your glutes, your rotators, and helps with turnout. So especially because we're not jumping that much, I'm making sure to do this every day. Really making sure you're nice and aligned. So I'm placing myself at the back edge of the mat, my upper body, but my lower half is at the front edge of the mat. Extremely important you listen to that setup because you want to make sure the hips are nice and stacked. Now, if you want more of a challenge, place your hand behind your head. If you want more stability, just place it in front of you. I'll leave it up to you. But it is an abdominal workout. So you're keeping your abdominals in and up. You have a little mouse house underneath your rib cage. You're gonna lift that top leg up. You're gonna pulse it to the front one. Then you're gonna pulse a little deeper too. And then you're gonna elongate, point it to the back, keep the hip nice and still. We, pull, we flex it to the front one. Pull your abdominals deeper too. And then point it to the back, elongate it. Keep your hips stacked. And one. And pull deeper too and resist that band as it goes to the back, find your arabesque position, but keep your hips still. Kick to the front one, kick to the front two. Let's add a little speed. We kick, kick, and point to the back. Kick, kick, and point to the back. Two more, kick, kick, and point to the back. Last one, kick, kick, and point to the back. Bring both legs together for up and down. I wanna work um, turned in and turned out today. So you're gonna flex it up, resist the band, point it, and then resist it down. Flex it up and resist it down, really firing up that side of that rotator muscle. Up and down, now how are your abdominals? Is that wrist hurting? Are you digging into the hand with the head? No, you're lifted through your abs. One more time, then we're gonna turn it out. Flex it up and point it down, turning it out, just the top leg. We're gonna point up and flex it down. Keep your hips stacked. Point it up and flex it down. Two more, point it up and flex it down. Last one, point it up and flex it down. Now pointing it up, let's do little circles for five and four. Think of three, think of up and one. Reverse for five and four and three and two and one. Bring both legs together. Bending the legs in, let's finish out with some clamshells. Remembering your knees are in line with your hips, really firing that glute muscle up. Let's go for eight. Here we go, guys. We open for eight, seven, ankles together, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax it down. Ooh, okay, let's switch it over to the other side. Now, if your legs aren't opening that wide, that's okay, I have my TheraBand pretty tight because I want the resistance more than the open. So, it's up to you what you feel comfortable with doing. Again, reminding, your, reminding you to line yourself up with the back edge of the mat and bringing your front half of your body to the, to, to the front edge, sorry. So, remembering you're making kind of a lazy L if you don't have a mat. Bring your hand behind you, or for more support, keep it on the mat completely up to you. Just make sure your shoulders, your hips, and everything is in line with the spine. Bring the top leg up. We're gonna double kick one. Pulse it deeper, two. Like someone's punching you in the abdominals, point it to the back, elongate it. Good, flex it front one. Flex it front two, and point it to the back, nice long leg. Flex it front one, flex it front two, and point it to the back. One more time before we speed it up. Flex it front one, flex it front two, and point it to the back. Let's add a little pulse, 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 and point to the back. Pulse, pulse, and point to the back. Two more. Pulse, pulse, and point to the back. Last one. Pulse, pulse, and point to the back. Bring both legs together for up and down. You're gonna point it up and flex it down, keep it parallel. Point it up and resist the band as it goes down. Now again, reminding you of your little mouse house under your rib cage. Abdominals are scooped in and up. I'm not resting into my hand, I'm lifted. Last one, point it up 
and flex it down. This time, let's turn it out. Point up and flex it down, working different parts of the hip. Point it up and flex it down. Don't let those hips fall back, though. Yours nice and stacked. Point it up and flex it down. Think about doing this right against a wall. Point it up and flex it down. Last one. Keep it up. Let's circle for five and four and three and two and one. Reverse for five and four and three and two and one. Bring both legs together. Remembering all one side is going to always be harder than the other. That's normal. All right, let's really fire up this last exercise with clam. Keep the ankles together, the knees hover the entire time. Open for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Good. Let's set it up and let's get rid of that theraband, untying it. Okay, we're good on time. Yeah, I started at 11.30, right? So I started at noon. Oh, I started at noon. Oh, we're good. We're good on time. Sorry. Okay, just making sure we're good on time. Okay. Lying on down, let's just give yourself a nice pretzel stretch really quickly. So placing your right leg over your left, just stretch it out. We have a few more seconds, and we got to get going. And just switch it out to the other side. All right, good, let's get right into it, guys, because I'm running out of time. Instagram only gives you an hour, and then it turns off. So folding the band in half, let's go into our teaser. So the band stays folded. Your hands, your fingertips are shoulder distance apart. We're going to melt the spine down nice and long on the mat. Bring your legs in a tabletop position. Let's do three sets of three, all right? So it's going to get harder as we go. So keeping the legs bent, you're going to bring your head, neck, and shoulders nice and high. Find that nice teaser position. Your hands are long and then melt it down, bring your legs right back in. Let's do that two more times. Come right back up, find your nice high teaser, a little bit of a challenge, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, and then bring your body right back down. Last one, come right back up, back up, 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 hands by your ears, and melt the spine down. Good, give yourself a little bit of a break before we go into that next challenge. This time, bring your legs 45 degrees, and they're gonna stay there as we come up. So now peel your spine up, keep bringing your, ear, your hands by your ears, as you come down, bring your legs halfway, arms halfway, come right back up, find your nice high teaser. Halfway down, come right back up, find your nice high teaser, and melt everything back down, just hovering it in, good. Now let's work the lower half this time, this guy. So we're just gonna lower it a little bit with the legs, but keep the body still. So bring your legs at a 45 degree angle, bring your hands up by your head. Let's bring our body nice and high in that teaser position. Your hands are nice and long. Lower the legs down a little bit. Bring them up a lot. Lower the legs down a little bit even more. Bring them up even more. One more time. Lower down. Come right back up. And peel your spine down. Relax. Oh, everyone loves teaser. It's the best. All right. Rocking up to a sitting position, we're going to go into our, pl our plank. So again, placing that there again nice and high underneath your armpits. I want you to think about that resistance we did for swan prep. Same thing. This time going onto your forearms and you're pressing your palms into the mat and the theraband is pushing you down. Okay, but you're going to resist it. Really good for shoulder stability. Bring your right leg back. Bring your left leg back. Remembering the legs are glued together. I'm in that nice plank position. My abdominals are scooping in and up. My forehead is looking down at the mat, so I'm keeping the line in my spine. I'm going to lower the, sh the shoulders down just a little. I'm going to resist the theraband, come right back up. Do not lower the pelvis, only the shoulders. Lower down, come right back up, push back into that theraband. Lower down, come right back up, push, 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 and lower down, come right back up. Now we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Relax the legs down. Get rid of the theraband. Put it in front of your mat. You won't need it anymore. And just get a nice big stretch. Good. Stretching it forward. Take a nice big inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And let's roll your spine.
spine up through the body. Roll the shoulders back. Go back onto your bottom. We're going to finish out with some seal. And we're going to stand up. So praying your hands through. You do not need your therapy for this exercise. You don't use it. And you're going to just bring your hands through. Remembering, dancers, that we're not in a frog position. Our knees are only shoulder distance apart, okay? Bouncing on those sits bones like we did for rolling like a ball. Bring your head into your belly button. You're going to clap your heels for three, two, one. Rock it back. Three, two, one. After your long workout, you're massaging your spine, but you're also using your abdominals to bring yourself back up. Rock for three, two, one. Clap up. Three, two, one. Now, you're going to do that two more times. On the last one, you cross your ankles and you stand on up. So cross your ankles, cross your hands, and stand on up. Good. I wish I could see everybody. That's definitely one of my favorites. So let's just do one quick roll down to finish, and then we got to end. So I can answer anyone's questions if you had any about Pilates. And I wish I had three hours with y'all, but I don't. So let's go back to the edge of the mat. Just doing a quick roll through the body. Your legs are together, you're sit standing nice and tall, lifting through the spine that you just worked so hard on this last 45 minutes. Peel your spine down, roll down, place your hands on the mat, and just walk your hands out, finding that nice long plank position. And we're just going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lifting from your abdominals, walk your hands back if you can. In three, two, one, peel your spine up, roll through. Think upper, middle, and lower. Good, two more times, melt the spine down. Place the hands. We walk it out nice and quickly. Don't move the hips though if you can. Scoop your abdominals, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hike the hips up and walk the hands back in three, two, one. Melt the spine up, rolling through. One more time, guys, here we go. Melt the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae, bone by bone. Walk the hands out. We're gonna hold this for 10 counts this time. Finding your nice long plank position, hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hike the hips up and just walk your hands back nice and slowly. Drive your heels down into the mat and just give yourself a nice stretch. Cross your right hand to your left foot or left ankle and then cross your left hand to your right ankle and just stretch up. Really think about C curving the spine and pull against your legs. You can even keep them bent if you need to. Just giving yourself a nice back stretch, looking into your belly button and then just walk the hands back onto the mat. If you want to keep your legs nice and soft or keep them straight, up to you. And just slowly roll through your spine. The head is the last thing to stand up. Good. Rolling your shoulders back. Thinking about the length of your body. Growing from the crown of the head, from the ears, from the shoulders, from the chest. Collarbones wide. And you are finished. Really good class today, guys. Good, good, good. How'd everybody do, guys? Good. Y'all are very welcome. This is one of my favorite classes, and this will be posted to their IGTV, so it will be up there for y'all to take at any time. So that's exciting. Where's your leggings set from? Um, Carbon38, I do have a discount code called TayTay20, so if you go ahead and type that in, you get 15% off. <laughs> Sky, oh, you're very welcome, Sky, I love you. Thank you for taking. Oh, good, I love Ginger. Thank you so much, guys, for taking, and everyone who's been following me through this journey of staying in shape. I hope y'all are seeing a difference. Um, I know some of my regular clients are feeling pretty great. So if you're looking for more classes, go ahead and give me a follow with Tay -Tay Ballet, on Tay Tay Ballet. That's my Instagram page. I'm really donating a lot of free classes during this time. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a Zoom class this week for the first time. So if y'all are interested in that, DM me. This time I can work with y'all privately and really kind of get to know you and your body. Um, and I appreciate everyone who took. So thank you so much. This will be posted again, by the way. So Thank you for taking, guys. Mm. 
All right, that's gonna be it. Thank you.